Welcome back, everyone. Marvin Jackson here along with Donna Hopkins, John Booty, and Barry Barnes. And uh, the National Football League has had its share of controversy over the past few weeks. Bad news, Barnes. That's all right. Talk about what's going on in Baltimore. You're a Baltimore man. Yeah, don't say it too loud. I don't want anybody to know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all about winning. Mm -hmm. And the Ravens organization, that organization, like all mm -hmm. organizations, they hate bad PR. Mm -hmm. But this organization really detested. I mean, they really hate it. It's like a disease to them. And having Ray Rice around after everything that came out, they did not. They did not. They didn't want to have that distraction there with the players always being questioned how he is in the locker room when they traveling, going to the hotels. If anybody's gonna be picketing or trying to protest them, mm -hmm. they did not want to, you know, go through that. So they let him go based off of that. But right now in Baltimore, he still have a strong support, mm -hmm. especially with the females. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. so. It's, 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 it calmed down. That's still a win helped out. Mm -hmm. But if they continue to win, it'll all go away. And with them letting Ray Rice go, at least he gets some time to actually work on his marriage mm -hmm. with his mm -hmm. wife, you know, some time to think, see all the things that he did wrong. And then when he get back to the NFL, he'll, you know, be hey, on the Barry, this is not going away. This, I, I mean, winning mm -hmm. is not going to make this go away. Oh, yes, it will. Because it's too much happening around the NFL in general as far as with Carolina, with San Francisco, with uh, Minnesota, Minnesota, and with Baltimore. So with the domestic violence it, it situation all around the NFL, winning is not going to take put this uh, on the back burner. I mean, they, they may, it may take uh, uh, the focus away from them a little bit, but this is heavy news in the NFL right now because of the bad well, situation and how it was handled overall. Well, it's a bad situation. And one th I was at the game Thursday night when mm -hmm. the uh, Ravens played the Steelers, and the fans are still going to show up. Yeah. Now, one thing about it, there was some uh, support for Ray, mm -hmm. the ladies in their uh, Ray Rice jerseys. It's not going to go away. No, I agree with no. you. It's not going to go away. And it's got to get better for the league to police this much, much better. So, but one thing about Sundays, thir Thursday nights, Sundays, Monday nights, the fans are still going to show up. Yeah. So they're still going to get that support right. from the teams mm -hmm. because people love the National Football League. They still want to see guys on the football field knock the stuffers out of each other, you see, mm -hmm. and make play big plays. Now, uh, on those down times, the, day, the days that they're not playing, that's when they got to really turn up their PR. Mm -hmm. They really got to get this get the uh, policies in place mm -hmm. to make sure players from commissioner, owners, down, everybody's on the same page. And that's what they got to do. Yeah, now but every, will, will, will the Players Association get involved in some of this? They will. I mean, uh, I think they're going to work with Ray, Ray Rice uh, mm -hmm. as far as they want as as fairness. Him, right. Get him, uh, get him. Mm -hmm. He's going to appeal. And they're asking uh, Commissioner Goodell to recuse himself of being a part of that. Right. Now, everybody deserves an opportunity to work, to, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. and this is this guy's living, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he got suspended, somebody may, uh, maybe a year from now, why, as he working himself as a, as a human being, as a person, right. uh, see the error of, the, of his ways mm -hmm. and get the counseling for he and his wife. Another team may say, listen, we're going to give you another opportunity because like other, other yeah. players in the past have given op, been given opportunities. Mm -hmm. We do see players uh, uh, like with McDonald for uh, San, Francisco. San Francisco. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. San Francisco and, and Harden down. And we got the situation right. with Peterson right. now. Peterson. Yeah. Uh, and that's the reason why I said that with, with so many things that's happening with the different teams, right. it's not going to die down because every time you turn on the TV right. on Sundays, and like you said, CNN. you play the football game, but even on Sundays, every – a network is talking about the situation because as soon as you thought the Ray Reichs thing was going to die down, then the Peterson thing right. started up, and then the Carolina thing. So it's, it's beyond sports; it's news. Yeah. Right. Yes. And the reason why I, I still believe it's going to go away, like everything, and when it comes down to the NFL, ultimately, even after everything you know settles down, if they continue to win, it definitely will go away, especially right. inside the house. Mm -hmm. And right, it, right. it's, 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 it's the funny part about with all this stuff is going on in the NFL. I'm kind of glad that it's happening because it is a billion dollar business. It's so far everything looked like it was going well, but right, it yeah. shows that they still need it to make some improvements. And, they, and, some they, and they get some the time. And they get some time to actually work on it. Now the part that I don't like about and it's kind of written under tone as far as you have a lot of people still in this era when it comes down to professional athletes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people still don't like the fact they get paid so much. No, so right. when they you hear to right. see these athletes yeah. doing um, crazy things like other people who's not, not in the public eye and they're getting they're paid, the they, they want to mm -hmm. get like let's get rid of them because right. they don't need to make that money, you know. Anyway, so it's a little jealousy there. Right. So we won't, don't want to get caught up with that notion as far as trying to get rid of them because at the end of the day, 
at the end of, the, of today, you can't judge players like regular working right. folk because they want percenters. Right. They, teams cannot just replace an Adrian Peterson right. or Ray Rice because they don't come often. And Hodge Bush want to pull their ass? Well, someone do or commit the same crime on their job, they can easily get somebody on the street to come right. and replace that person, put a top or fix a can or, right. you know, work on a bottle. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can replace them. But when it comes down to the NFL, when it comes down to making money, which is all about mm -hmm. players like Adrian Peterson, players like Ray Rice, mm -hmm. even a Greg Hardy, mm -hmm. those guys contribute to wins that most players cannot do. Mm -hmm. That's why I know eventually it will go away. Okay. Will Roger Goodell keep his job? I think so. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, with the investigation that's going on right now and the owners are 100 almost behind him, mm -hmm. um, I think he'll end up still keeping his job. Okay. Well, he's not a black guy. So. We do know that. He's going to keep his I believe he's going to mm -hmm. keep his job. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, like you stated a few moments ago, uh, first thing I heard about Commissioner Goodell, you know, uh, uh, a women's group saying, well, we need to, get, need to fire him, right? Mm -hmm. Then they say he made $44 million last year, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Commissioner right. Goodell have said some things like with New Orleans. Mm -hmm. Ignorance is not an excuse. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to be the captain of a ship. You got you to be able to take care of everything. So he said that. Now, all the eyes on him, mm -hmm. you see. So now he's got to fix this. So he goes out and hire four women to come and, and, and police the uh, uh, domestic violence mm -hmm. policies, mm -hmm. you see. Right. And so he's got the support of the, of the, um, of the, of the owners. Mm -hmm. But... In this, in this investigation, if they find something that the league yeah. had this video. If they find. Yeah. If right. they find this video that was there, and even though he's not in that office, he may have been in uh, Augusta, Georgia, mm -hmm. it's still under his watch. So, so far, yeah. we think he'll stay. Yeah. yeah. I think he'll stay, right. too. No problem. All right. And the marketability of the league will no. remain. <laughs> well, and, 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 well. and we have a, a few seconds, but... I did hear that the ratings were down slightly. Yeah, slightly. Just hope they don't continue to go down. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a break. And uh, coming up, we have some comments from two promising Washington rookies. And our guests will analyze the team's big game this weekend with the Eagles. We'll be right back. So, yeah, maybe.